with the transition of Albania from a very extremely safe, isolated country, moving them to a market economy that had brought some changes in the agricultural sector. The privatization of the land, you have now the creation of half a million of farms. The market system was completely not existing. The remote and the very mountainous areas had very difficult access to the market because the infrastructure was in a very devastating situation. This is with Sustainable Agricultural Support in Albania, which is known in the abbreviation SASA, started facing this Albanian reality with all these difficulties and challenges. Until 2008, the SASA project has achieved very remarkable results. It has established Alp Inspect, which is an inspection and certification body recognized by the Albanian law and also by the EU. It has also established the BioAdria Association, where the farmers and, and the other market chain actors are together working under one umbrella. The 2009, it was the critical moment where we had an external evaluation of the SASA project. And beside the very good achievements in terms of the institutional establishment, it was also highlighted that the volume of the organic products in the market was quite limited. So that made us, let's say, rethink. The main problem actually was that the market was not in place, especially within Albania. And this created the problem that all the services that SASA established were not sustainable because the market was not there. So the changes that were proposed and happened actually starting from 2009 related very much to a very clear market development approach. So with this strategy in mind, the PMCA, the participatory market chain approach was introduced, aiming to bringing actors together to discuss, analyze and implement together new market opportunities. In the first phase of PMCA, we did uh, market research to identify market opportunities. From this analysis, we realized that uh, Albanian consumers were very much attracted by uh, typical products. They really liked products that were related to their origin. So, uh, in that sense, we developed two regional labels, one for North and the other for South, and were formed three thematic groups. So, one for North, one for South, and another one for organic export. My main work was to facilitate North thematic group meetings where all problems were identified and bottlenecks were resolved among uh, all actors of the value chain of specific products. Different products were uh, developed and improved in this PMCA methodology in North Thematic Group meetings, such as Agropuka products, which are uh, dried uh, vegetables and uh, fruits, uh, mushrooms, br blueberry, honey, different flavored jams. This methodology has directly improved the presentation of Agropuka products in the Albanian market. As part of North Thematic Group, I have been working with Sasa for many months. We have come to a conclusion that packaging is very essential for my business and of special importance for the customer. The launch of our olive oil with the logo Prodime Yugu made it possible for us to have our identity in the market and increase the number of interested olive growers from Dush to join this initiative. We have now, thanks to the PMCA, 27 
products that are in the Albanian market. We had ladies of Peshkopia region who are producing homemade pasta traditional for this region called in Albania Yufka. We consider this collaboration really grateful and sustainable because people have improved their life, they can spend more money to create good conditions for family and especially children. Women take more place or space in decision-making processes in family and community. As a result that we had with the Thematic Group exporters was improvement of uh, quality of processed product like uh, blueberries or special herbs like Edelweiss, Monarda, uh, Sambucos, etc. We developed a new olive oil mixed with San John wort flour which came as an idea after Biofach participation. In Biofach habe ich viele Kontakte bekommen und da habe ich eine, auch eine Idee gehabt, eine neue Produkt zu produzieren und das ist Olivenöl mit Hypericum perforatum. Bis jetzt habe ich äh, nötig gehabt, äh, jemand mir zu helfen. Früher, vor äh, zehn Jahren, ich wusste nicht, nicht, was bedeutet Bio. Und jetzt weiß ich. Ich wusste nicht, dass Wettbewerb in der Welt wird. Jetzt weiß ich das. Aber vielleicht ich weiß ich noch nicht andere Sachen. Why I think this is sustainable, a sustainable work, let's say. First of all, PMCA project supported people in their ideas. So they continue working in these ideas, not because of PMCA project or ideas, but because they are interested and because the fact that they did this before this collaboration started doing it. The second is because they have been all the time owner of the process. PMCA supported, but didn't push to undertake uh, steps if they were not ready. The third is because now traders are interested to have these products in their shops or markets. And the, the, the fourth is because consumers are interested to have these uh, products. So I, I think these are enough reasons to, to consider this work sustainable. The work of the project was linking up people and facilitating processes, which means that even if tomorrow the project is not there anymore, these linkages, they are there, and I feel they're also now strong enough after, after this year and a half or two years really to be able to continue. After so many projects I have seen in this region in the field of agriculture, I have to admit that uh, this one is probably one of top three. <laughs>